now the latest on July the 1st in the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Here we are, the 31st of June, 29 storms so far with an average of 91 storms per year. And you can see Barbara there, a tropical storm with the 50 miles per hour. We'll get into more details on that in just a moment. You can see Tropical Depression 4W in the Western Pacific as well. It's not going to be lasting very long. It's currently day 31 of the Atlantic hurricane season. No storms are currently active. And the next name on the Atlantic list will be Barry, followed by Chantal. Day 48 of the Pacific hurricane season, you can see Barbara there in the Eastern Pacific. Next name does look to be Cosme. You can see 4W in the Western Pacific, not likely to strengthen anymore, actually likely to weaken rather rapidly. Mun would be the next name if this were to get named, although that is incredibly unlikely. No storms are active in the Southern Hemisphere. It's definitely good to know, and I don't think that we can expect any activity here over the next uh, really a few months in the Southern Hemisphere. So, here's Barbara, winds of 50 miles per hour and a pressure of 999 millibars. The storm is currently 721 miles away from Menze Neo, and it's 10.7 degrees north, 111.4 degrees west. So you can see the storm here, expected to move towards the west-northwest, and you can see here we are two days out. The storm is expected to become a hurricane, a Category 2, by three days out. Force 13 currently forecasting a major hurricane at this time, so major hurricane Barbara looking like something that will occur. You can see Barbara here, a bonafide tropical storm. It definitely is looking pretty good on imagery, a well-defined center of circulation, pretty symmetric convection, uh, which does mean that the storm is probably going to start really strengthening soon. It's going to be going over a warm pool of sea surface temperatures in the near future, and it has very little wind shear to stand in its way. So things are looking very good for Barbara. In the North Atlantic, you can see dry air coming off of the African coast, Saharan dust even visible on that satellite. You can see a flare-up over the Yucatan Peninsula, but no particularly interesting features in the Atlantic, no development expected in the next five days or so. Eastern Pacific, we have Barbara, and it looks like there could be a storm that forms behind it. That would be named Cosme if it does become a tropical cyclone. Currently a medium chance of that forming, according to the National Hurricane Center. In the Western Pacific, we have 4W and another interesting feature in the South China Sea that could become a tropical cyclone in the near future, um, and it could be a part of the reason why 4W is struggling so much to develop. So that's what we're looking at in the Western Pacific at this time. In the Australian region, there's nothing really expected to develop here in the next few days, and we probably aren't going to see much activity here over the next few months, as we are well outside of the tropical cyclone season for the Australian region. So it doesn't look like we are going to be seeing much activity, but still an interesting feature, an interesting low south of Fiji. Very warm sea surface temperatures in the North Indian Ocean as well as the Western Pacific, primed for tropical cyclone development, those sea surface temperatures are. As we go into the eastern Pacific, you can see there is not as big of a warm band, but there still is a warm band, Barbara, within that. And the western side of the Atlantic Ocean really looking like it's quite warm, especially compared to the rest of it. So we can see here that it does look like uh, we haven't gone through any of our Atlantic storm names in the eastern Pacific. We've gone through Alvin and now Barbara. Western Pacific, we're to see that, and we have used Bonnie and Bayou in the northern Indian Ocean. Pika being the next name there. Definitely some interesting stuff. Then we are into the new year in the southwestern Indian Ocean, which does mean new names now are for that particular region. Thank you so much for watching. We do hope that you did enjoy this video. We'll be back with another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow at Zero Zulu. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo a Cyclo Maurice on Facebook.